YouTubers, welcome back to the shop. Recently I had this turn up in my garden. Guess this piece of red cedar. Lovely colour in there. Beautiful. And I'm hoping somebody put that in my garden because they knew that I was a wood turner as opposed to somebody just fly tip in there, storm damage, rubbish. I'll turn this into a nice little pot. Um, this will be inspired by wood turner from I'm pretty certain he's from the Netherlands. Um, it goes by the na name of MG, EMGI. Um, I was going through his some of his videos and I saw a lovely little potty turn in there, uh, which is going to inspire me to turn this one. So, this one's for you, Leo. Thank you for all those lovely comments you always leave in my uh, comments box. So the first thing I need to do is um, just take this down to a cylindrical shape. I'm just going to use my roughing gouge here and just take all the bark away to get down to some of the better wood underneath. I've always shied away from turning the evergreens before, things like the cedars, pines. Um, they're not great things to turn actually. There's a lot of resin in them. Uh, it's very difficult to get a good finish on them because of the natural oils within them. So this is the first time I've turned cedar. So we'll have to see what it turns up like. So this is rough down pretty much to where I want it to be. And I'm just going to take a piece off this end because that will be the lid. So I'm just going in there with my quarter inch parting off tool. And as I say, just taking this off. I've already turned a tenon on the other end so that when it comes off I can just hold it in my four jaw chuck. So here it's set up in my four jaw chuck. I've got my revolving centre on the other end just to hold it securely. And I'm just coming in my roughing gauge just to take the rest of that bark away. I'm now coming along with my skew chisel. Just taking some shearing cuts across here, which will take that down, give us a lovely finish. You see from those shavings how curly they are, they're really light and fluffy. Just make a lovely finish to the wood. So, what I want to do now is go to like a classic barrel shape. And so, what I want to do, just find the center there. And then curl it over both ways. That's so just to give it that classic barrel shape. I'm going to leave a rim on both ends. Just coming in with my spindle gauge now. Just taking some light cuts here just to define the outer shape of the barrel. So what I'm trying to do now is just work away from the centre. And just work out to either side. I'm quite pleased with that shape. It's not quite nice. You see as I'm coming in here with the chisel, as I'm getting towards the end of the cup, I'm actually rolling the chisel over. As you turn roll the chisel over, that automatically gives you that curved drop down into that ridge. And they've just defined them there a curve. Very delicate, very fine work. You see how fine the shavings are coming off there. What a fine cut that is. I have to say, if you're not cutting cedar before, it does cut very well. It can be very delicate with it. So 
So I'm just going in my pattern off tool there, that's the base. That will just give me an index so I know exactly how long that barrel should be now. I'm very pleased with that now, that's all finished. It's the desired shape that I want, and I can just go to sanding now. I'll start off with uh, about 120 grit, and I'll work my way through to probably only about 320. I'll see what it comes up like, and then we can go in with sand and sealer and polish after that. Well, that's all the sanding done, and then we're going to go to the sanding sealer, and we'll see how much that sand and sealer brings this grain out. does look very nice. I have to say that sand and sealer did not soak into that. But that does look that grain pattern in there really is quite spectacular. It really is beautiful. I'm only going to apply sand and sealer for the moment. I'm not going to put any wax on there because I need to apply sand and sealer and wax on the inside as well. So I'll just leave that as it is for the time being. And then I'll get to hollow on it. So the first thing I'm going to do is go down through there with my 70mm forcing a bit. Just to rough all most of the wood away from the inside. Done. I've polished the inside, put sand and sealer in there, and now we're just going to get and wax it. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to just burn two black lines in there because that nicely accentuates those two beads on the other end. Polish. Clean bit of cloth. Beautiful. So now to make a lid, the first thing I need to do is turn it down just to fit inside of there. sand that down, that'll fit nicely. So I'll just quickly take the rest of that wood away, I don't need that. So now I've turned that round in the chuck and I'll just start to form the lid now.
quickly sign that up. And the sealer on that. Just keep a beautiful red colour when that sound of the sealer goes on there. It really brings that grain out. on there now. Well, there we go YouTubers. Another finished product. This little piece of red cedar somebody left in my garden. So this beautiful grain coming through there and that does shine up really well quite a lovely piece well thank you very much Leo for the inspiration and the idea hope it does it justice and there, that's where the best view best grain is beautiful red color it's lovely Thank you very much for watching. As always, I've been Steve Howe. Another great day in my workshop. Thank you all very much for watching. And I'll see you all next week. You take care of yourself. Bye bye.